Sagittarius, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my table. You guys, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, I do channel messages. We go over Oracle messages and then into tarot. If you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. I have missed you. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I do these signs once a month for each of the signs. I have been off a little bit more than I'd like to recently dealing with some personal health things. So thank you guys so, so much for your patience. I'm happy to be back. Um, let's dive in. Sagittarius, let's get right to it. So looking at your energy here in meditation to start, the first thing that I was shown was a bee, a symbol of a bee. Um, this bee morphed into actually a, a spider and the Spider-Man symbol itself. So the messages that I got from that were, um, well, both, both the bee and the spider have symbolism of divinity connected to it. The spider can be a messenger between the divine and the human realms, um, similar to the bee. Both of them also have to do with work, industriousness, putting work into something, putting a plan of action into play and seeing the fruits of that because of the efforts they're putting together. So um, givers of life, something to do with life is actually involved with both of these as well. So it kind of feels like there is some life, something giving you life, a new lease on life, um, a new way to experience life coming forward or that is available for you guys. So let's get a little bit further into it. Patience and persistence was one of the things that came through with the spider as well. So it feels like there is a request for some patience and persistence, not just sitting trying to be patient, waiting around for something to come through, but also participating actively while remaining patient, okay? Um, generative and destructive, the spider as well. Well, actually both. So both the bee and, and the spider have symbolism in different cultures surrounding death and rebirth, destruction and creation. So it feels like there is a, an experience for you right now, Sagittarius, where you're kind of in limbo, in a liminal space, if you want to look at it that way. Something has ended. You're waiting for this rebirth to happen. You, some of you may be also waiting for something to end, or you're just getting this feeling that something is about to end. If that's the case, if you're one of those people, I'm getting a lot of like anxiety, guilt, and shame surrounding that death, whatever that is. And I don't feel like it's a literal death. It feels metaphorical. It's okay to let something transition or shift, whether this is an ending of a relationship, a job, whatever. It's important to look at and analyze maybe how we played a part in something. But what I'm getting from this is this isn't the time to go into blaming yourself for something not continuing forward, whatever this is. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next thing I saw where I was actually shown the little feet on or the little barbs on the spider's legs. So what it uses to actually grasp on to something. Your grip, stability, something that was coming through on that. Again, like I was saying earlier, it feels like something is coming to a transition or you're in that middle space. You're being at get a grip. <laughs> you're being asked to hold your grip, to hold steady. So... Again, that patience and that persistence, remaining solid within yourself, even though things may not be solid around you, it's okay to, to deal with the emotions as they're coming up, but don't let it, don't let it push you off of a path that you're on right now, okay? Um, the next thing that I was told was all you need is 10%. Um, okay. <laughs> so sitting with that thought or that message, I was... I was looking at, is this like, a, you know, you need a 10% um, return on your investment, <laughs> um, upper hand on something. Um, let me say here. Yeah, like a chance energy. I feel like this is an attitude or a message that's coming from you, Sagittarius, involving that request. Like if I just had this, if I just had that 10% more, upper hand on something, a little bit more energy to proceed with something, 10% more of a glimpse into the future of hope, 
then X, Y, Z, then I would be more patient or then I would be more, um, have more perseverance, et cetera. I feel with that message, what, what is being requested is act, act as though you have that 10% and you shall be given that 10%, right? Just like everything else that we experience here in life. We, manifestation wise, we must experience something as if it's already here. So whatever that 10% is that you guys are asking for or requesting, act as if you already have it. Be grateful that, that you have it and it shall be given. Okay. All right. So let's get into Oracle messages here for you guys. Um, I'm going to start with the wild unknown archetype deck and spirit wanted me to pull all the cards on camera today. So here we go. Um, what do we have here for Sagittarius, please spirit? What's going on here? The fault line, this one was at the split as I was, whoop, <laughs> I can hold this, um, as I was shuffling there. It feels like, it feels like you, something is being cracked open, okay? You're being cracked open. You feel like you're being cracked open. The fault also stands out, like I was saying earlier, with shame and blame. If something is ending, you're feeling like something's coming to an end, try to step away from shame or blame, okay? Because most of the things that we go through in life really aren't about that. <laughs> Nothing's ever so black and white that we can fully say, you know, that was your fault or this is my fault, etc. It's important to be curious about our participation. But this feels like somebody who's really getting down on themselves, okay, or on someone else. So it's just not productive is all I'm saying. You do you. Live your life. Do what you want to do. Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? Additional messages. I feel like we're doing... Not two. Okay. The starborn comes out here. Okay. So we're bringing, bringing this energy back to a state of, of, um, childness <laughs> of childlike innocence and experience. I'm kind of getting this frustration. So the, the starborn is, can be like a child, child energy. Um, there's a reminder of your connection to the universe when this card comes through but I am feeling drawn to the impetuousness of this kind of energy too. With that patience and perseverance, like I said, there's a request here to, um, well, maybe even give your child what, what it needs. <laughs> are you feeling, are you feeling this agitated energy or frustration coming forward? Um, petulance like a child, I feel that it's important always to touch base with these inner archetypes with ourselves so that we can remain as, as balanced as possible. It feels like something's coming through right now or soon where you're going to have to concede to something that your inner child wants. There's that being cracked open again too, that egg with the cracks. Yeah, it... I mean, we're all, we're all going through this process energetically right now, but this feels for you, Sagittarius, this feels like a major breakthrough. And this doesn't feel like something that you're necessarily initiating as a goal. Like, oh, this week or this year, I want to be cracked wide open, you know? Um, I mean, I think indirectly you've been asking for growth. You've been asking for more in some way, whether that's abundance, um, materially, spiritually, etc. In order for you to receive those things that you're manifesting, the shell has to go. Something that was keeping you safe or literally safe before it's time to, it's time to move, time to move from there. Okay. All right. Um, I do feel we want another one here, Spirit for Sagittarius. The Judge, yes. <laughs> okay. Totally. So it feels like um, it feels like you are going through this process where um, growing up is what comes through with the with the Starborn. You're you're growing. And this is a requested growth, but it doesn't feel like, like the growth that you requested. You know what I mean? What I think about is, um, 
like as we're growing up, we're kids, we want to be adults, maybe because we see that they have more freedom in their schedule and deciding what it is they want to do, what they want to eat, whatever. And so there's this desire to be in that state. What we don't realize when we're younger between there and getting to adulthood is, well, maybe there there's literally growing pains. Our body hurts. Maybe we develop acne, hormonal stuff. You know, there's literal growth that needs to happen to get from being a child to an adult. Obviously, this is kind of what I'm feeling here. There's this desire to get to a specific place and that's all well and good. And it's possible to get there. One of the components that aren't being considered right now, though, is the growth that's required to get there. So the judge, with the judge coming through, this is like our um, our internal judge and jury. Everybody has that voice where we are. It's a programmed thing. As we're growing up, we are given this instruction on how to keep ourselves in line based on the way that others treat us, our caregivers, etc. How to keep ourselves in line based on what is expected socially. And this is an archetype that can certainly become uh, dark pretty quick, depending on how well versed you are at navigating these kinds of voices or archetypes that are inside of you. This could be something that's going under the radar. You're not considering like I'm beating the hell out of myself is kind of the vibe I'm getting. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, Sagittarius. There's no need to... There's no need to be so hard on yourself. You're already exerting so much energy here to push through the, the shell of the egg. It's like, it's like you're, you're giving it your all to get through this, and then you're still beating yourself up because, I, I don't know, you're not doing it fast enough. It's not as pretty as others maybe expect it should be or, or whatever. And this, I don't necessarily feel a lot of this is coming from somebody actively on the outside. And this is more from whenever this judge and jury was programmed as a child, okay? So this is an opportunity here for you to address or to identify maybe even for the first time for some of you, this archetype, okay? All right, let's get a little bit further into this. 12.30 on the timer. Um, I do want to pull an animal spirit oracle message here from the animal, animals, uh, wild unknown, animal spirit, excuse me. Beaver. Interesting. Unicorn here, too, at the bottom. The thing that I feel you're being requested to see with the unicorn, that third eye sight, um, is that things are possible. Whatever it is that you are working towards, it is real. It is possible. That experience does exist. Just like the experience you may be in right now of feeling judgment towards yourself. It's just as real as that experience. But it requires a shift of of sight. What I feel with that is, so the two eyes, um, you know, it can be said one is, one is viewing the, um, present and one is viewing the past and the third eye views the future. So you may be looking at your situation right now, based on where you've come, what you see directly in front of you. And that's all that you're taking into consideration as far as what's possible in your reality seeing something coming forward and experiencing that i.e with the third eye it's one of our bigger bigger tools to uh to change our reality okay so with the beaver coming through here this is a card of hard work i feel like um there's a connection to family with this as well some of you may be working on something okay okay I do very much get this working on you, Sagittarius energy. Um, you may be putting work into yourself, but there is a resentment, I feel like, that's attached to it. And this may be where the judge is really coming in here, too. Kind of shooting you in the foot as far as your progress goes moving forward. The beaver doesn't really start projects, necessarily. But they'll put their head down and get to it when a project is started and needs to be finished. So I feel like there is, again, kind of this B to, to Spider-Man um, action as well. There's a request here for you to shift that energetic focus from like, oh, I have to do this to maybe I, I get to do this. And I know that sounds 
may be silly for for some of you, but um, I feel like you're stuck between doing it and not doing it. Forget who said you had to do it. Forget, you know, whatever the expectation is, whatever the judge and jury is telling you needs to happen. Start to move through that, get a little bit deeper and find out what it is that you want to do. Are you cracking through this egg because you want to? Or are you cracking through this egg because you feel like somebody's expecting you to? I feel like ultimately it's because you want to, but it's that expectation from somebody else, real or perceived, that's making it difficult for you to really just fully blow through this egg. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is the longest I've gone in Oracle messages. Let's go ahead and get into your tarot messages. I'll do a, I'll do a mudra card here at the end. Okay. So this is the whoop, <laughs> hangman in reverse just falls out here. So <laughs> I do feel like you guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling held in a place and you are being held in a place. The point though, is for you to see the difference here between your own voice and that judge and jury. Cause that judge and jury is not your voice until you can start to make that distinction you will not really be able to move forward. And this is partly you restricting yourself, partly a, a aid from your, your spirit team as well, the universe. They want you to be successful in this, so they're trying to show you where, where the sand in the machine is. Okay, all right, so what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Huge shout out to my channel members, of course, you guys, hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of the video. There's also a join button next to the subscribe underneath this video. And if you're looking for private readings, I do have those open and available currently. You can check out my website in the description of the video too. All right, let's get into this here. Okay, so um, hope, hopes and dreams here. At the bottom, you guys have the magician. In reverse. So as far as a hope and dream, like I was saying here with the starborn, whatever this egg, this barrier is that you guys are working to get through, what's on the other side of that is this realization that you have everything that you need to create the life that you want. So this, whoop, oh, interesting, the star as well. Cool. Love that. <laughs> in reverse. Both of these being in reverse, I feel that this energy is available to you, but it's just on the other side of Whoever's saying whatever here <laughs> with the judge, it's time to shut that up so that you can get back to a place. Uh, your hope here is to have your wish come true. Your hope here is to have everything that you need to create what it is that you want. And you have, you have access to that. What you're being asked to see so far here, though, is who's saying what, okay? Time to close the courthouse here. All right, um, we'll go with this may hurt. For your second deck, what do we have for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Please, please. And this is a general message, you guys. There's the Magician again at the split in reverse. <laughs> so totally, um, this is like the fear pile, fear, anxiety pile. Having that come through as well. Corroborating what I was saying there. But I feel like this is also a fear of yours. Like there are times where you're like, yeah, I can do anything. And then I like, manifest whatever I want. And then the next second you might be going... Um, am I screwed? Like, is any of this real? You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling is there's a need to get this voice out of your head and that's not ever going to fully go away, but identifying what it is to start is very important. Okay. All right. What do we have for Sagittarius? Please spirit. And this is a general message. Please keep that in mind. Everybody, you are intelligent. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. Uh, feel free to check out any other placements in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart. Just depends on which house. So feel free to take a look if you would like a more complete story. All right, King of Wands here at the bottom. So this is your fear aversion. Anxiety. I do feel um, this is a, a leadership. All the kings are, are leaders. So the King of Wands especially is a leader. They're an excellent facilitator. They know how to get the right group of people together to complete the task. I take this more as this is you being the leader for yourself. Do I have what it takes to corral the right energies, archetypes inside of myself or outside of myself to produce the de desired effect I'm looking for? 
which here is, well, being born, cracking through whatever barrier is in front of you right now. There's a fear that this isn't possible for you. It is. I, I just feel like you guys are so exhausted energetically that identifying the issue in the first place is difficult, let alone having the energy to uh, pursue changing anything about that. Fear not, 2020 on the timer there. I, f I feel like once you identify, like I said, identify that the judge here is speaking out of turn, it becomes a lot easier for you to do what needs to be done to address this, okay, to change things. So in your general energy to start, you have seven of pentacles in reverse. I very, <laughs> I'm very much getting a lot of impatience. That came through in the, in the uh, meditation as well. A need for patience what you are moving towards those seeds have already been planted growth is already happening i'm getting with the seven of pentacles coming in here in reverse if you continue to let this voice the judge and for some of you it could be somebody outside of you currently this just feels more like um that program okay that archetype that's already there the longer that this is allowed to continue to talk, to have a place at the table or part of the conversation here in the shadow, um, the more that whatever it is you've planted here is at risk. What I'm getting is this, this picture of like you've tilled the fields, you've planted the seeds, and you're waiting for these to grow. You're not seeing them break soil. Everything is going according to the timing that that it needs to here with the growth, it's the experience inside that's going, oh, they're not growing fast enough. Um, and because of that, you may go back out to the field, till everything up again and replant seeds because the judge here is saying, well, you screwed up, <laughs> start over. That's not really what's needed here though. A little bit of patience is what's needed. So if you can just hold on, hold on for one more day, right? Hold on for one more day. <laughs> These will start showing signs of life don't tear everything up though just because something inside of you may be telling you to and that's not to say like you know if you're if your gut is saying this if you're really skilled about telling the difference between what is coming through for you message wise then by all means tear something up if that's what is needed this feels more like though in general you're being asked to be patient it is it is growing okay <laughs> A lot of, lot of uh, reverse cards here for you guys in this reading, which just tells me that you're in that liminal space. Most of these flip right back over when you realize that it's time to move on to life, onto the rebirth portion, okay? So Nine of Pentacles in reverse, to clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I get a, um, like a wired mind is something that comes through here. There may be a struggle there is a struggle for um, financial, especially something that's coming through. This may, mm, okay. Struggling financially is exacerbating the voice of the judge here. Underneath that stress, anxiety, depression, potentially, that money issues can cause and do, um, it's fuel. It's fuel here for the judge. So that kind of situation, yeah, well, that's really precarious, you guys. I'm not saying flippantly just dismiss that, you know, if I don't have money or money's difficult to come by at this time, that it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be affecting. It absolutely affects me seriously. It's one of the biggest triggers depression wise for me. So I, I understand that. Um, there is a need, though, to calm the mind. Again, the judge coming through here. It's not going to be an immediate switch, but if you can recognize that this voice that's coming through that's stressing you the F out isn't even yours, it's going to help you start taking those more patient steps, realizing that you are in this process of death into rebirth, okay? Okay, so good stuff here for you at this time. <laughs> Totally. Okay. I can totally see this. So four of pentacles in reverse comes through here. <laughs> four of pentacles is security, stability. Being in reverse, especially it's this very like miser energy of over clinging to that, which we feel brings us stability and security money, just like I was saying. So being in the good stuff here, I love this. 
Um, this is going on here to help you release your grip. And that was coming through. I love that. In the meditation too, the little grippy pieces on, on the spider. What it, didn't I? Yeah, your grip. <laughs> Get a grip. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So this is this is all happening right now to direct you to the archetype inside you, the judge. It's telling you that the judge is here in shadow. In light, the judge is, is it's still an energy that's needed. It helps us uh, find diplomacy. It helps us find balance, judgment in balance, okay? Um, in a healthy way, but this definitely feels more like in the shadow. So the point of this is to help you release your grip on something so that it can flow in the way that it was intended to flow. Hmm? Cool. <laughs> strength in reverse here too. Yes. So typically strength is strength is about approaching something, especially inside of us, with uh, a gentle hand. It's not about force. So again, I feel like the lesson here, and this is a good thing, because as soon as you start to see um, that Chinese finger trap, the more pressure or force that we're putting on that, the more trapped we get when we realize that letting go or even retracting a bit, relaxing allows us to escape. That's the, that's the bonus here for you guys is realizing that it's not about force. It's not about forcing your way through this. It's about surrendering to the situation, even at, at the, um, potential risk. I don't feel like it's a real risk. The risk of whatever the judge is telling you is going to happen. And I'm not saying like, don't go to work or, or anything like that. This is definitely an energetic shift, a shift in the mind and in the emotional space, your sick, your energy signature. Okay. Okay. So, um, what you don't see coming here <laughs> in the dark, you have two of cups in reverse. And this is interesting. These are all in, all in reverse for you guys. Like I said, I feel like these all flip over. You have that hangman in reverse come through. They all flip over once you see once you see this. See the effect that the judge in the shadow is having on you, okay? Yes, there's some resistance pushing back this growth edge you're going through. We're breaking through the shell. Yeah, there's resistance because um, that barrier you're breaking through initially kept you safe like the four of pentacles is talking about. Maybe that is, um, like as an example, only looking for specific jobs, only um, talking to specific people, only, you know what I mean? Staying safe in that way. And I'm not saying that there aren't situations that aren't safe. I am saying that this feels like we're addressing more situations where the judge has kind of kept us trapped in a place that may not actually be real or it's becoming real because we're making it real. There are unsafe situations and there are also safe situations that we may be blowing right through because we're focused on where there may be unsafety. Okay. So two of cups in reverse here being in the dark. I feel like um, an uncoupling is what's coming to mind for me here. What, well, exactly what I was just saying. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Spirit's like, you just said it. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I just gave you the message. That's that's for sure. You did. Um, what you don't see here is that as you may be seeking some sort of connection with money, with others, what have you, playing it safe. I'm not saying go be super risky, but the way that you may be playing it safe right now is actually causing more of a separation and connection than what you're going for. Connection. Okay, let's get a little more information on that, please. Knight of Swords in reverse, too. I promise you there are upright ones here, too. <laughs> um, so Knight of Swords in reverse, what you don't see coming, or what's in the dark. Your progress forward is halted right now. Whether this is by, like I said, the, the universe doing this as a safety feature, your own subconscious, it feels like there is a, this is a joint venture. You're being held in a place until you see what's going on here that you playing it safe, whatever that means, is not what's up, is not what you came here to do. So your ability to move forward, to put your thought into action again, 
becomes possible once you step away from whatever this safety bar is, this illusory safety bar. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So um, your obstacle at this time, what is difficult for you guys? <laughs> yeah, was it? Uh, well, what would have been the other deck here? King of Wands here you had as your fear version. Your obstacle right now is King of Wands in reverse. <laughs> uh huh. I, I feel like there is this um, and very Sagittarius energy. That fiery leadership energy. The difficulty right now is recognizing how much of this is already inside of you in a very natural way. Whatever this judge voice is saying to you, it is directly competing with the ability and function that the King of Wands inside of you has. So the difficulty right now is letting the King of Wands out of their cage. <laughs> is letting, letting this be real, letting it exist. Letting it be upright, okay? Um, that kind of corralling energy as well, like I was saying, they're a leader. They don't necessarily do it all themselves, but they're a great facilitator and organizer. I feel like the obstacle for you guys right now is corralling or organizing those energies and or voices, archetypes that are going on inside of you that may be taking the um taking the stage in a way that <laughs> is taking away from your stage time okay again i feel like identifying this is really the biggest step once you're aware like that's not me that's not my voice that's somebody else's voice you don't have to adopt that you don't have to listen to what it has to say either thank you i disagree but thank you you know <laughs> okay <laughs> they're all in reverse i love this so um, Ten of Wands comes through here in reverse as your next obstacle. So I need to release something. This, this I feel like, is clinging on to that last little bit. And this is where you're struggling. Clinging on to that last little bit that needs to be released um, in order for you to start a new journey, to start your journey, your fiery, passionate, creative journey. And the component I feel like that's being clung onto, clinged onto, is um, not necessarily genetic, but it feels like it's something that's passed down generationally. So well, it could be, I guess it could be genetic um, with that judge, this, this narrative or voice that is, has been going on. That's the component that needs to be released. And like I said, that's not fully going away, but on the shadow side, whatever that trigger is, that allows that voice to come in and take over from a shadow aspect, that's the component that needs to be released here. And I feel like that is directly tied to something shameful, blame or shame. The second that you start blaming or shaming you or anyone else, to be honest, it's like an open invitation for this to, to take root. The weed in your garden that you don't necessarily want to be there. Okay, um, I am going to pull a Mudra card for you guys here real quick. I do feel like there's two here, pieces of advice, and then I'm going to go into an extended portion here. Um, we're going to look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your current thoughts and actions. So two pieces of advice here for Sagittarius. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, okay. Those didn't come out. Three actually came out here. So moving on was the first one. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we're talking about. Expansion. Pursue bigger and greater endeavors. Yeah. Time to break through that egg. Time to let that, that voice go. Moving on from that. Spread your wings. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. And we do um, gain confidence when we gain confidence. It's not something really that we can fake. But we do need to put ourselves into situations where we can gain that confidence, which requires we're uncomfortable, okay? Being uncomfortable is what allows us to gain confidence, okay? In, in a healthy way, you know, and finding the success in that. Okay, Mudra card for you guys here, and then I'll move into extended. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? One of the longer ones I've done in a minute, but um, 
I don't know, I've had a few days off and I missed you guys. Like I said, this feels like a really important message to distribute. What's going on for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need at this time? So mudras are hand symbols or gestures that direct energy for specific purposes. <laughs> the upper hand, keep cool. So I'll show this to you here and read the back. The uh, Musthi Mudra, first fist seal, excuse me, a fit of rage always works in the end like an own goal. And scientific research tells us that it makes the brain more susceptible to further outbursts. Rage releases adrenaline, and this makes one aggressive, whilst at the same time consuming energy. First, let off steam by drumming your left fist several times into, your, into the palm of your right hand. Whilst performing the mudra, imagine yourself under a cold shower, which gives you a good cooling off. Then take your time to consider carefully what you can do to change things and avoid future flare-ups. There is always a way. Have a good look for it. I master my life using a cool head and a big heart. I think it's <laughs> a couple things on this. It's interesting that it mentions future flare-ups. I was going to kind of talk about what I was dealing with, but didn't want to go too far into it. Um, I'm sure you can't super see through my glasses, but um, I, since really the beginning of the year, I've been flaring. My skin has been flaring up with stuff and the doctors are having a hard time figuring out what's going on and I'm having a hard time figuring out what's going on and um, it really is taking a toll on me and my mental health and um, again you know anytime I mentioned it in the past I appreciate you know if you can't see it or this or that um, it definitely is there I woke up a couple days ago with the most swollen eyes um, it was really painful for me to look at and I feel like uh, not to go too far into that, like I said, with this coming up here, to connect that to what you guys are going through, it may not be a physical flare. There could be something you're dealing with health-wise where there is a flare-up that's happening. If that's the case, if there's something on your face too, maybe you're dealing with something with your eyes as well. Um, there's there's a request here to to not focus as much on, and this is me and my personal journey too, to not focus as much on the flare up, but to focus instead, because the judge is kind of where this flare is coming from. Like this is, this is the flare up. So we're not putting water directly on that fire. We're getting a little bit deeper and finding out what is causing this to flare, right? If you're at a point though, where this energy needs to be diverted, love this great way, great way to divert that that fire energy, excess fire energy. Um, with the starborn coming through in the inner child, and I saw this at the beginning too, I should have just said it, but um, as a recommendation too, to go through a controlled fit. So if this energy needs to be released, um, laying down on the ground in a controlled way, pounding your fists or your legs onto the ground, it allows that energy to diffuse. It allows the inner child that opportunity to have a fit in a controlled way. Once that's gone, you have more control over what's going on underneath there, okay? So um, don't ignore the flare. <laughs> You're going to do what you can to take care of it, which is to try to diffuse that energy, okay? May have been confusing the way I explained all that. But anyway, I love you guys. I love you, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me here. I hope that this is helpful for you guys at this time and into the future. So like I said, I'm going to move into the extended portion here. If you want to join me there, there are links in the description of this video I have for sale individually, or you can get a membership to have access to all of them. Um, that's the third tier level if you guys are interested in that. Again, personal readings are open. If you would like some help with something more personal, I'd be happy to help you guys out there. Okay. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If this reading resonated with you, I truly appreciate the support and the channel appreciates that support too. I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. If this resonated with you and you feel called to tip or donate, I truly appreciate it, you guys. It isn't mandatory, but those that do support the channel in that way, thank you, thank you, thank you. It goes a long way and I'm truly, truly grateful. Okay, I love you, Sagittarius. Please take care of yourself and we'll talk soon. All right. Be well.